Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today is a very exciting day. I've been teasing this on the channel for a little bit now. Those of you that have me on Snapchat already know I'm officially going to be selling aquarium plants and eventually aquarium fish as well. I have been wanting to do this for years, but I just never really had the space living at my parents' house. But now we have our own place. We have this entire basement to work with. We have enough space to set up our very own fish shop. It is on the other side of this basement. I'll be showing it to you guys here in a second, but I'm just so excited that this is finally happening. You know, I believe that aquatic life is my passion and I just love sharing it with other people obviously through video but now I also am gonna get to share it with you physically because everything bought from my store will literally be sent directly out of my own home and you know what? we are just gonna head over to the shop right now I want to show you guys already right over here on the other side of the basement I present to you the fish shop I did hang another fake wall this painter sheeting but it separates this into two rooms and this is the fish shop it's a bit dark in here right now because the only light on this side of the basement is on the other side of this wall so we are gonna be hanging some more of those LED bulbs around this side of the room that should light it up pretty well we're also going to be hanging some kind of curtain right here to cover up that storage area i think i'll probably use some of that bamboo fencing for that that should look really good but then along both of these walls i just want to have shelves and shelves and racks of tanks like i said everything on my website will be in this room physically i'm gonna import stuff and quarantine it for like two weeks before i sell it i'm gonna grow my own plants in this room breed fish and shrimp and then right on the other side of this wall we have my shipping station i've been messing with a couple packaging ideas i have been working working on this whole thing for a couple months now. And there are just a couple more things I need to get handled before you guys can start ordering, you know, taxes, dumb stuff like that. I'm getting it handled, I'm almost done. And we should have plants for sale on my website, carsonsaquatics.com. Hopefully within the next week, probably two weeks at the most, but I do actually already have the plants. I imported 50 aquarium plants and got them set up in these tanks. I also put a couple of them upstairs in my 37 gallon. And I've actually had these plants for about a week. There were five or six plants that were already like dying on the way, but all these other ones seem to be doing really good but in this video we are going to be setting up the first tank setup in the fish shop it is going to be this plastic tub right here i got this at target it actually feels really sturdy should be able to support the what 15 gallons of water this probably is i'm hoping this works out because this would be a lot more cost effective than glass aquariums i mean this is probably 100 bucks nowadays and this was like eight we are going to be setting this up for the plants you just saw in the fish room and hopefully if this thing holds up nicely for us we can get a whole rack system of them going i could build a whole system with two by fours and plastic tubs could probably run the whole thing off of one air pump and this is going to be the cool thing too i'm taking you guys along with me for this entire journey you guys are going to see every setup built in this room every plant grow out tank every shrimp breeding bin you guys are going to see it all it starts here in this corner of my basement but you know someday i'm hoping we can have a warehouse full of fish tanks that you guys could come visit in person but this is where it starts we're going to work our way up i know you guys can buy fish and plants from anywhere but i can promise you that nowhere else is going to care for them as much as i do i'm not going to sell you guys crap that dies two days after you get it you guys will be able to see everything on the website on this channel first and i think that is the coolest part about it but yeah right now we are going to get this plant bin set up i've got our substrate right here sea chem fluorite i've never used this stuff before i've heard really good things about it so we'll see how it supports our plant life but i've also heard that this stuff is super dusty so i'm gonna go ahead and rinse it down really good and get it into the bin a few moments later all right guys well it is a couple hours later had to grab some dinner real quick but as you can see i did get our substrate into the bin it looks pretty nice i really like the color and i did use that full bag in this bin looks like the perfect amount the plants should be able to grow some pretty strong roots in here but before we can add the plants of course we do need to add the water and that's what we're going to do right now Alrighty guys, now that our bin is all filled up, we can go ahead and get our filter on there. We are going with a hang on the back filter for now. I think when I get a couple more of these systems, I'll probably switch to sponge filters so we can run multiple setups off of one plug. But right now we're just going with this hang on the back and we are gonna get that running. And lastly, we're gonna add our water conditioner to remove the chlorine from the water. And now we are gonna come back over here to the fish room and grab all the plants out of that tank and that tank and get them all set up in our new plant bin. And 
and there it is all the plants are in and as you can see that is just about the maximum amount of plants that this setup can fit but now the last thing we're gonna do to this tank for now is get this light on there this light is definitely way too big for this tank it's the only one i have right now i'll order a smaller one probably tonight but there it is with the light on it definitely looks pretty cool i can't wait to have a bunch of these set up but yeah what you see right here plus a few more plants upstairs is what's going to be available to start on my website we've got a couple different swords some anubius some money wart a bunch of other stuff i'd never even heard of and this is just the first batch we're obviously going to get a lot more plants in the future i think to start i'm just going to do like plant mystery boxes like five packs and ten packs of just assorted plants but then whenever i get a few more of these bins set up and we get room for more plants then we will start selling the plants individually as well then yeah once we get the plant thing down we'll start getting into fish definitely going to be a lot of fun but that is all i got for you guys tonight i'll check up with you guys in the morning all right, guys, so it is the next morning, and to close out this video, I just wanted to give you guys one last look at our new plant bin because it did clear up a little bit overnight. If you look at it from above, it is literally crystal clear. But now the last thing I want to do to this tank is add one cup of guppies. I just scooped these guys out of my turtle pond, and we are going to release them into this plant bin. Having fish living in here and eating food in here will give these plants additional nutrients. And look at them. They look so good in here. But again, all these plants should be live on carsonsaquatics.com here in the next week or two. But you can still go check it out now because that is where my merch is available and i did just drop this fourth of july hat all my friends were telling me i should make a stars and stripes ca design and with the fourth of july coming up you know i had to but yeah i can't wait to see where this fish shop goes thank you guys so much for all the support today's comment of the day goes out too and if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen and if you liked this video be sure to hit that like button do me a favor and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and i'm gonna see you in the next video